Um, well, as a kind of ultimate, if very private, expression of power. I mean, that's which is what I always think these are about: female power in some way. Yeah, I, I actually don't know what I think about that. I mean, I like thinking that that's true. I mean, the female power part, since I'm, I'm involved with such powerful women. <laughs> that's for sure. That would, be, that would only be the reality. What you're describing, like what you might see in the paintings, is really interesting to me because it's almost, it has to be almost inaccessible to me when I make them in order for me to make them, and then afterwards I can start to think about it. Well, I always say in my lectures that artists don't own the meaning of their works. And it's, it took me a long time to finally accept that that's true. And, you know, I am frequently asked if I give talks, there's always somebody in the audience that wants to know either, either what I think about pornography or why these things aren't pornography or whatever. And I, I'm still jarred by the question because, as I was saying to my friend, in what universe is a pink ellipse with a line through it more disturbing than everything we see on television, everything we see on the side of a bus in New York, you know? Right. I mean, I don't want to make the kind of art that comes with a user's manual or where, you know, you read the press release and you think, okay, got it. Or you read the label and yeah. get the text panel. No, I, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to make something that's not verbal, so. I have to be willing to accept where people go with it.